68 kilograms. Introducing first in the blue corner, representing Mac Fight Sweden. Make some noise for Martin Fudo! Across the cage in the red corner, his opponent representing the MMA Academy Liverpool. Give it up for Mike Lefty Thompson! Well, Your referee in charge, Mr. Paul Crossley. Well, ladies and gentlemen, cage door set to close on this, our main event of the evening, catch, catch weight 68 kilogram pro contest. Martin Fuda fighting out of the blue corner in the white shorts, taking on the MMA Academy Liverpool's Mike Thompson. What a great walkout song from Thompson. Yeah, I love it, one of my favorites. The crowd always get behind it as well. It's gotta get him pumped up. Thompson, two and one as a pro, taking on much more experienced. Martin Fuda, five, 15 and one record. Yeah, over 20 pro fights, a lot of experience for Fuda. And he's used to this kind of fight, you know, coming into enemy territory, flying in. Well, oh, there's no doubt that Mike Thompson is absolutely that the local favorite. But very patient, tentative. What word would you use to start this? Yeah, hey, tentative, just figuring each other out, looking for reactions. You know, you got 15 minutes. Oh, big left up. Oh! Got clipped on the way in, did Thompson, and looked like he landed a good shot. Fuda. Look, looked like they both did yeah. there. Fuda had the composure, waiting for Thompson to lunge in again and clipped him. Both guys swinging heavy, going from uh, zero to 100 in almost no time at all. And that's the thing, when you advance so fast, your own momentum coming, walking onto a shot like that adds an extra dimension. Well, Thompson now pressuring Fuda against the cage, looking to try and create enough angle that land that elbow over the top. Yeah, knee mean, to the middle. It seems fine, you know, he went down briefly, but his legs are with him. I think it was just one of those, um, just landed right place at the right time, uh, as opposed to him still being rubbery on the legs. He looks completely fine on his feet. But he's buying himself a bit of time to clear his head should he need it as well. Absolutely. Thompson, no pressure. Still pressuring his man in. Going to try and dig for that underhook. Stolen in there in that 50 50 position, underhook preventing Thompson from lowering himself down. The overhook keeps him in tight, not allowing Thompson any space. He'll probably get separated here if he can't make something work. Yeah, referee Paul Cross has already asked them for to advance the position of some action, but you know, if you're throwing, <laughs> throwing the knees in like that, it's pretty hard to break them up, isn't it? All right, chipped away. Yeah, you know, the referee's always going to give the uh, the guy some credit if he's working. You know, oh, I tried to throw that elbow over the top, threw it down on the single. Nice frame and a scramble. Now it's through the pressure in, but is he going to Oh, walk the has he walked himself into a guillotine ten, there? Ten finger guillotine. Looks like Thompson's trying to fish it, the grip underneath the neck. Right in front of us, he's not attacking the guillotine nope. yet. Looks like it's just staying up, but now he might be. Who'd have thrown it heavy once he disengaged from the clinch? Another heavy low kick to the calf there. Horrible. And he did a good job of getting back out of the distance as well. Back outside the range after he landed it. And another one. And you see Fuda start to drop the hand to block it. But that's where he's dangerous when Thompson wades in. And uh, Fuda will just swing wild there. And he clipped him again on the way in. He's just got to be careful. You know, work his way in behind the punch. He's not wild. Yeah, he just throws everything as... Thompson's coming in. Referee again, Paul Crossley asking for some action, wants to see Thompson landing some strikes or improving position. But Fuda doing real well and just nullifying that, tying him up. 
strong, two overhooks. Well, keeping him pulled in tight, not allowing him much space to work. There's no way for him to generate power on the upper body. You figure he's going to look to try and disengage and then perhaps come over the top with the elbow again, yeah. which he's tried a couple of times. He has tried, and that's probably why Fruit is holding both of the overhooks. Economy of movement from Martin Fuda doesn't waste any energy, does he? Uh, Thompson looks comfortable when they're on the outside. It's just when he rushes in. I like seeing, I was just about to say, I'd like to see him get back to the low kick. Another one lands and... Five minutes in the bag. A potential 10 to go. Yeah, it's been an interesting round. I mean, I would say that Thompson's landed more clean shots. Some real good low kicks. But Fuda did have that, uh, I think it was a right hand that he clicked to yep. as he waded in. You know, the one that sent him down. So, you know, relatively close on. Although I would probably give the edge to Thompson there. Fuda, I mean, you just can't race in on him and be wild. It, on the outside of Thompson's picking his shot, jabs, low kicks. He looks more comfortable to get his head out of the way then. He certainly landed a, a few of the shots that made that has made Martin Fu to take notice. But I'm I was I was really surprised at the pace that they both went. It's very, as we said, cagey to start with. Lots of lots of fainting and feeling each other out, just seeing what each other were gonna do. Let's see if it starts a little quicker in this round. Inside leg kick to start. Fuda pushes forward. Lunges in with everything. There's no snap on the jab. It's like full body weight lunging in, everything behind it. He's kind of rigid, even sort of with his veins there. Overzealous <laughs> again. It, like, as you say, throwing everything into everything. Oh, another big low kick, and he clips him with the left hand. Fuda slips. That lead leg now might be uh, taking the brunt of it. We'll see if Thompson go. Hey, does go back there and now change stance. Yeah, the switch of the stance is usually a good giveaway that it's him. And he's feeling the effect. Well, surely Mike Thompson just gonna start teeing off on the right leg now, inside or outside. Referee calling for some more action. Oh, another big low kick, Shin driven straight in as soon as Fuda switched back to his uh, open up stance. Another stance change, tries to go up high with the kick. He's happy to take his time. It's Mike Thompson, he's not rushing anything, he lands good, and then backs back out. Yeah, the danger comes when he tries to get yeah, a little bit greedy and drive forward a bit too much and get wild, so, you know, it's smart work for him. I think it's the, the better game plan. Hello. On the outside, landing, outlanding him on the outside by a significant amount. You know, don't fly into the danger zone if you don't have to. And again, continues to target the legs. Right to the inside of the thigh. But, but Thompson again, firing back to the calf, and now food is happy to enter it. Oh, he, th yeah, now he's swinging. <laughs> he, he threw that so hard. Yeah, everything's from downtown, isn't it? When, when Fuda loads up, everything's from downtown. Thompson can see it coming. Tries to snap a jab out this food of Thompson out of range. Oh, oh, beautiful nice level change. And on to the back, but Thompson straight back up. Gonna have to fight the hands. Ooh, gotta be careful in the back of the head. But the guy, he was just winging it. Thompson 
Again, that change of stance from Fuda. Hands low. He's literally nothing into 100% power. You know, if there isn't much in the way of um, jabs or setups in between. And, and you figure that's why Thompson's being a, a, a little patient? Yeah, absolutely. A couple of times he got clips coming in. And then a good low kick. In the first round, he got clips coming in. And, you know, this is a lot more effective for him, I think. A lot lower risk. And he's landed some nice clean shots from the outside. I wouldn't be changing that if I didn't have to. Martin Fuda still in the center of the cage, but hands nice and low. Now he brings him up now. 21 fights in the veteran. He's seen it all. He's, uh, he's not going to be faced by Thompson, but he's getting out struck by him at the moment. And you'd have to think there can't be too, too much time left in this second round, and if it continues to play out the way it does, you're gonna have Mike Thompson going into the third with a healthy two-round lead. Yeah, absolutely. That's a nice combination. 10 seconds left in this second round. Thompson probing with those kicks, keeping things low. I think he's got another round in the book. I'd, I'd absolutely agree with that. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It would seem crazy to want to get into a wild exchange with Martin Fude. He looks like he's got power. I th I'd just like to see a little more activity out of Thompson. Just a little bit. I mean, you know, Food is the one traveling here. He's the, you know, the away fighter, if you will. There's not really much interest on him to come here and push the pace, but, you know, he could play his part as well. He kind of, it's a, I'm guessing it's a little bit strange for Thompson to have a guy who'll sort of stand in front of him, almost static, and, and not be throwing anything. So, it's, it's, not some, it's not the kind of style you come up with against every day either, so navigating that kind of weird style that Well, five minutes left in this our main event. Mike Thompson, the MMA Academy representative in the red corner, the red pit bull shorts as he takes on Mac Fight Sweden's Martin Fuda. And it really is kind of like they're trying to pick that one, one perfect shot. Here the corner of the MMA Academy man asking him for a bit more variety. Yeah, I can't agree with that. Good, nice low kicks from through the landing. And again. There's a hard kick, but when Fuda doesn't do much and he throws the occasional strike, it's, it's like Thompson's matching his rhythm a little bit. It's quite difficult you know, to really get on the offensive when you're not sure how and when your opponent's going to throw. I think that's slowed his own output down. Yeah, but it, it, it becomes kind of a it becomes a kind of a stalemate, and without lying, not so easy to watch. Well, there hasn't been that much landed in this round. Food has landed a few low kicks, and I think he has to do more to try and win the fight, but you know, he's hanging in there, and he's doing what veterans and true journeymen are doing, he's making it, you know, making it a fight for Thompson, not letting him stroll away with it without having to earn it. We just like to see Thompson pick up his pace with a you know, final few minutes remaining. Starting to mark up the inside of that lead leg of Thompson's Fuda. 
effective with the inside low kicks in the, in the final round. We probably wish he went to it earlier. Side kick to the body. And you see as time winds down in the round, the Thompson puts a bit more urgency into his work. Got to be careful of that wing and, wing and left hand, though. Food is reaction almost every time. He's that winging left hand. If Thompson goes 1-2 down the pipe, should beat him to it. Oh, holding the center of the cage is, is Thompson. Lots of flinching, lots of movement. Not a lot of fighting. Heavy low kick again from Mark Fuda. And then goes back to the calf and into the body. And then dances out of the way of that wing and left hand again. I mean, I think in his third round, Gordon will probably be thinking he wishes he. Uh, Maybe turn it up a little bit more earlier on. But. Oh, that was a hard low kick again from Mike Thomas. And just Thompson going to get a little bit busier now. Tries that front kick up the middle, but Martin Fuda just, just out of range. I mean, he's, he's, he was, oh, that one hurt. He was successfully marching through the back to the cage where, take away a little bit of the movement. Fuda responds as well. Low kick inside. Yeah, low kick's the weapon of choice. It keeps him out of range of Fuda's hands. Doesn't have to overcommit to anything. Because he, we're getting too close for too long and the wild stuff starts flying back. Heavy body shot from Fuda, but Mike Thompson still controlling the center of the cage. 10 seconds left and this is our main event. Mike Thompson continues to dance. 15 minute battle of attrition that you would have to think Mike Thompson just nicked. Yeah, I think so. You could probably make a case for the third round for Fuda, but yeah, I think Thompson was too far ahead just to pull it back by winning around by a narrow margin. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this was our main event brought to you by Empire Grappling and the UK Fighting Championships. We're back in May. May 14th. Can't wait to see you, Jay. Always a pleasure. Mr. Brian Lacey enters the cage for one last time. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us here at the UK Fighting Championships, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Let's turn it over to Brian Lacey to make it official one last time. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, this goes to the judges' scorecards. Your winner by unanimous decision in the red corner.